Well, all month long, Arizona's family is exploring the state of our schools, the search for solutions, and the new school year, well, it's ushering in a new era for the Phoenix Union High School District with the purchase of their first electric school bus. And it's the South Mountain Cross Country students that are actually driving this change to benefit all Arizona families. All right, go now. I feel like I can do anything because running is really tough. So if I feel like I can run forever, then I feel like I can do anything. Even convince a 125 year old institution to embrace its first ever electric school bus. We would run a lot in the streets next to all the cars and all the dirty air. And one day I seen it affecting some of my runners. And as a captain, I was like, oh, well, I want to help them. I want to help them have a better future. That intuition a igniting a movement. The South Mountain High School cross country team stamina tested, enduring monthly marathon board meetings, submitting countless public comments, all the while pounding the pavement, practicing their breathing while inhaling the pollution. These teens partnering with their coach and the environmental advocacy group CHISPA to help drive the change. This wasn't about uh, uh, luxury or, or just something that the kids wanted. It was about their health. The Phoenix Union High School District has about 67 buses. About half of them are diesel. The other half, propane. In 2017, the district passed a bond with the intent of replacing some of the aging fleet. The South Mountain Cross Country students made the bold request that those replacement buses be electric. We believe that our students are deserving of us as a district to look at every option that's available to ensure that we are providing clean and sustainable transportation services. But clean comes at a cost. In fact, an electric school bus costs three times that of a traditional diesel bus. So Phoenix looked to the Twin River School District in Sacramento, where they currently have 25 electric buses dispatched with a projected savings of $115,000 per bus over its lifetime, saving approximately 80% on fuel and 80% on maintenance. Governing board member Stanford Stanford Prescott believes the investment is worthwhile for two reasons. One, any funding that we save on uh, fuel costs, maintenance costs, or other costs, that's money that we can put directly back into the classroom. The second reason is that ultimately it's our responsibility to be good stewards of the environment for our students. Given that, the Phoenix School Board approved the purchase of the district's first electric school bus scheduled to arrive in the fall. When they announced it, I started to cry because I was like so happy. Phoenix Union leading the charge, hoping other Arizona school districts and municipalities follow suit. It's like a, the, the beginning of a movement. We're hoping to influence other districts and just start, start that change. Well, the first electric school bus will be delivered this fall, as we were saying, and Phoenix Union has already applied for a grant in hopes of securing five more electric buses in the coming year. So coming up at nine o'clock, we're going to take a look at how all Arizona or Arizona families might actually benefit from this move. And actually, April's going to mm -hmm. take the baton on this and yeah. talk about that part of the story. Tony, the world's going electric, isn't it? Well, I mean, and I just love this story, too. Yeah. It shows I really can make a difference. Yeah. Yes. What a bright group of kids. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. They just they said their mind to something uh -huh. and they follow through and it was a lot of follow through make yeah. no mistake it wasn't they went down to one school right. board yeah. meeting and that right. was it uh, but they stuck to it and yeah. they got what they wanted that's it worked. great yeah. Yeah. the south mountain high school students anxiously await the arrival of their district's first ever electric school bus it's something they spent all last year lobbying for driven by the desire to improve air quality for all arizona families all right, all three of you. Woo! Let me relax. When you're running, honestly, you just keep thinking about running, and it's, it's basically like how strong you are mentally, like how determined you are to keep moving forward. South Mountain senior Jessica Peraza feels most alive when running with her cross-country teammates. Switch. But her asthma doesn't always make it easy for her, especially on high pollution days. It's really difficult on me to run and like my lungs will start hurting like I can physically feel the pain and it's it's really hard to breathe. 
According to the American Lung Association, Phoenix ranks 13th out of 217 cities across the U.S. for highest daily particle pollution and 7th out of 228 metropolitan areas for high ozone days. Well, we certainly see more pollution in urban areas and we certainly see that the incidence of respiratory disease is also higher in urban areas. So we think that there's a connection there. According to the Arizona Department of Health, it's estimated that one in 11 Arizonans have asthma. Last year, I had to be hospitalized for a month because my attacks were getting so bad. Sitting out last season motivated Jessica's teammates to do something to help her and all Arizona families suffering from pollution. We were out there learning as much as we could and, and we found out about these electric school buses and we thought, no, there's no better place to start at our schools where our kids are and the future is. So this team, used to running fast, had to pace themselves to go the distance with the Phoenix Union High School District Governing Board, showing up monthly to make their case for electric buses with the support of their coach and the environmental advocacy group Chispa. When the board members told them, you know how expensive a bus is, you know, the kids told them, you're talking about my health. <laughs> you're not, we're not talking about the electric bus. We're talking about my health, my, my teammates' health, my school's health. Because whether you suffer from asthma or not, Dr. Dwayne Wong says everyone suffers from pollution. Yeah, you can feel it burn, and it really has a strong irritant effect. It's the equivalent of sticking your head in a bucket of chlorine. You might not be allergic to that chlorine, but it just burns your lungs and just feels awful. According to the EPA, school buses travel about 4 billion miles each year, driving 25 million children. And while the mode of transportation may be safe, that diesel exhaust is not. So these students asked the district to consider using some of the voter-approved bond dollars to purchase electric buses. They know they have a voice, uh, and so our job is to make sure that we listen to them and that we do what we can to be able to bring in their voice into decisions we make. And after careful consideration and investigation, the board approved the purchase of the district's first electric bus, set to arrive this fall. Put your hands behind your head. Come on, open up your lungs. Which has these teens breathing a sigh of relief. It's great to know that when I leave Phoenix Union, I graduate, that I left a legacy. And if I look back and see in the future, all these electric buses, I know that it's because of my hard work, my teammates' hard work, and my coach' hard work. Mm, yeah, amazing. Phoenix Union's first electric school bus will arrive this fall. Of course, electric buses don't come cheap. All right, get this. They cost about three times that of a traditional bus. So a diesel bus, get this, the cost of that is $95,000. The small 12-passenger handicapped-equipped electric bus that Phoenix Union purchased, get this, that cost uh, $220,000. But over the last seven years, the EPA has awarded about $39 million in rebates to replace almost 2,000 school buses. So Phoenix Union hopes to qualify for some of those dollars, and then they will add another five full-size electric buses to the fleet next year.